Okay, um, M1, October 2018, International A-Level, um, Excel, International A-Level paper. Um, <coughs> question about momentum. Particle P of mass 0.8 kilograms is moving along a straight horizontal line on a smooth horizontal surface with speed 4 meters per second. A second particle Q of mass 2 kg is moving in the opposite direction to P along the same straight line with a speed 2 meters per second. The particles collide directly immediately after the collision. The direction of motion of each particle is reversed and the speed of P is 2.5 meters per second. Find the speed of Q immediately after the collision. Okay. So now we've got your particles that are moving towards each other, P and Q. Okay, that's P and that's Q. Um, this is 0 0.8 kilograms and this one is 2 kilograms. Okay, so P is moving in this direction with a speed of 4 meters per second. And Q is moving in this direction with a speed of 2 meters per second. Okay, so Q is moving right. The particles collide. So this is before the collision. This is before the collision. I'm going to now write down the situation after the collision. Okay, so after the collision says the direction of motion of each particle is reversed. So this is going in this direction and now this is going in that direction. Okay, and the speed of P is 2.5 meters per second. And the speed of Q is, well, we don't know. That's one of the things you have to find. All right. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and answer part A. We can use this information to answer part A. So basically, what we're going to use is the principle of conservation of momentum. In momentum questions, that's always going to be part of the question. Okay, so we've got to find the speed of Q immediately after the collision. So what we can do is we can say the total momentum before the collision. The total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after. Excuse my handwriting there. Okay, so now the total momentum before the collision is the momentum of P and the momentum of Q before the collision. Now you've got to be really careful about direction. Momentum questions you have to decide what side is positive and stick with that. So, for example, here, I'm going to take the right as positive. Okay, I could take the left as positive, up to me. I'm going to take right as positive. So, the, the momentum of P, momentum is going to be mass times velocity. For P, is going to be 0 0.8 times 4. That's the momentum of P. Plus, the momentum of Q is going to be 2 times... Now this is going to be negative 2 because it's moving in the direction that we have decided is opposite to the positive, so it's negative. And the total momentum after the collision, well P is now reverse this direction, so it's going to be 0 0.8 multiplied by minus 2.5. Okay, plus, and this is 2 times the velocity of Q. Alright, so the answer would have actually told us the direction that this is going to go in, by the way. So they didn't actually have to tell us that Q has been reversed. But um, the answer, if it comes out as positive, you know, it means its direction has been reversed. Because first it was going in the negative direction, and now it's going in the positive direction. Okay, but it didn't have to actually tell us uh, that it's been reversed here. In the question they told us it's been reversed. But... You know, there's no problem. We just have to find the speed anyway. So now we've got 0 0.4 times 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.8 times 4, which is 3.2. So you have 3.2 minus 4 is equal to, and this is 0 0.8 times minus 2.5. Okay, that's going to be 8 over 10 times so 0 0.8 times 2.5. That's going to give you minus 2. 
It's minus 2 plus 2 times the velocity of Q. So 3.2 minus 4 is going to give you minus 0 0.8. Okay, and you're going to add 2 to both sides equals 2 times VQ. So we're going to have here, um, that's going to be minus, we're going to have 0 0.8, oops, 0 0.8 uh, plus 2. That's going to be 1.2. Okay, so it's 1.2 equals 2 VQ. So the velocity of Q The velocity of Q is going to be it's going to be 1.2 divided by 2, which is 0 0.6 meters per second. They just want the speed of um, Q. They don't need the direction. They told us the direction anyway. So the speed is 0 0.6 meters per second. That's part A. And now part B is asking us to find the magnitude of the impulse exerted by Q on P. So the impulse exerted by Q on P, okay, is going to be an impulse in this direction, but they don't care about the direction. They care only about um, the magnitude. Okay, so basically the magnitude of the impulse um, received by P and Q will be the same, all right, but the directions will be opposite. And the magnitude of the impulse is going to be the change in momentum. So if I want to find the momentum or the, the impulse that the P receives, what I've got to do is I've got to find its change in momentum. So we know that the impulse is equal to the change in momentum, which is MV minus MU, which you can write like this. Okay, so if we consider P, because why it's better for us to consider P because we know the velocities before and after the collision. With, with the Q, we know the velocities before and after, but we calculated the velocity after. And it's possible we made a mistake. So therefore, it's better for us to use the, the values that were given to us in the question. So we're going to have here, um, the impulse is 0 0.8 times. And here, you've got to be careful about the direction. So you have 0 0.8 times. And now, the final velocity is the velocity after the collision, which is minus 2.5 meters per second. So it's minus 2.5 meters per second. Minus the initial velocity, which is? four meters per second, and that's going to be in the positive direction, but it's minus of that, minus four. So that's why you put minus here. Okay, so the impulse is going to be 0 0.8 times minus 6.5. Okay, so 0 0.8 times 6.5 gives us 26 over five, which is 5.2, so it's negative 5.2. And that's, you can call that Newton seconds, all right? Or you can call it, if you want, kilogram meters per second, okay? Mass times velocity, all right? Stating the units of your answer. So either of those are correct. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so therefore, the magnitude, the magnitude, oops, sorry about my handwriting today. Therefore, the magnitude of the impulse is equal to 5.2. You can say Newton seconds, you can say kilogram meters per second. Both of them are correct. Okay, and there we have the answer to part B. So you've got to be very careful. The main problem with momentum is the direction. People mess up with the direction and they get wrong answers because of that. Okay, so there we have the answer that question.